Well, guys, I am here with Fonz, the founder of Cool Effect. Fonz, tell us 10 years of success. What are the main factors that lead to this success for Cool Effect? Um, well, it's actually 10 years of cane juice. This is the seventh Cool Effect, but cane juice um, made 10 years this December. So we are celebrating 10 years of cane juice at Cool Effect. So it's actually, some people think it's 10 years for Cool Effect. It's actually seven. So when, when, when Cool Effect hits 10 years, expect a bigger celebration. But right now, this year, we're actually celebrating 10 years at cane juice. Um, you ask basically what it, main factors, some losses involved. Um, there's a lot of risks involved, um, but there's some joys and there's definitely some successes along the way, which is why we could have been able to, to sustain doing it for so long, 10 years. Started out small, it was a, a club party and then we evolved and we added more events to what we do each year and now we're at the Cool Affair, which is the biggest one that we now do. So tell us about some of the artists since that's going to be here. What do you think um, the, the crowd or who the crowd is more anticipating this um, weekend? To be honest, when it comes to Cool Effect, it's more than just the lineup. I think the crowd anticipates the the excitement, the experience, the overall atmosphere. That's what we sell. The the, the artist that you see featured on a Cool Effect lineup for us is just icing on the cake. So ultimately, um, we want people to look forward more so to the experience, um, the atmosphere, the vibe, coming up with your friends, um, partying together, sharing drinks, sharing memories, having fun. Whether you drink water or you drink, you know, some kind of liquor, it's totally up to you. But yes. Um, in terms of the artists now, you know, we have a really, really good lineup this year. Every year we try to compile something that would appeal to the masses. So it's not that the lineup isn't in important for us. So, you know, we definitely look at the demographics. When you look at Cool Effect, we have so many different types of people here. We have people from overseas, we have locals, we have young, we have the, the, the young at heart, not calling anybody old, but mm -hmm. it's a perfect blend of um, artists to appeal to, to every single demographic that there is. So you, you mentioned Kess. Lyrical, Ola Tunji, um, Jamil. Kes Lyrical, Ola Tunji, Jamil, Asa Banton, mm -hmm. Sugar Band, The Masters, Collision, Rhythm Band, Mats. Rukas, we have Jester from, from, from Canada, really, really good soccer DJ. I don't think I forgot anybody, but it, just in case I did forget anybody, go on our website, www.kanejuiceevents.com, or look for us on social media, um, at Kanejuice. Um, on Facebook and on Instagram, I think it's at Cane Juice SKN. But if you type Cane Juice, you should see it. And type Cane Juice in YouTube too. So we, we're on every social media platform. So I know last year had 6,000 persons in here or more. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to be expecting at least double that this year based on, you know, what people have been saying and anticipating the, the outcome of this event. But tell us, how are you going to deal with this space? Um, well, I think we have more than enough space here to cover that amount of people. If if we are to go beyond the space, then I guess we could consider it sold out. But you know, it's a, it's a huge venue, so I don't believe we will 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 be able to do that at the end of the day. But um, we do definitely put a whole lot of um, effort into marketing and ensuring that we tap into the various elements mm -hmm. to where we use strategic. Mm -hmm marketing to tap into the various demographics i should say when you look around cool effect um you would realize that you have young you have you know the the young at heart you have foreigners you have locals you have expats you have just about everybody here yeah. so we want to continue appealing to these people and one of the things we do is target the region in terms of marketing we we, we do interviews on certain radio stations and we make certain strategic um ties and relationships with people that have influence in, in certain places so the good thing that we also do is capture enough footage and all of these things from the event so we could help to sell what, what it really is. If you go on our social media pages, you'll see videos and the video should tell the story. You'll see people actually <laughs> endorsing the event and saying what they think and what they feel and what it's all about. So it's just that vibe. It's a vibe, cool effect thing, you know? It ain't, ain't like um, something you could easily experience anywhere else. It's just the, the event itself have a unique vibe with friends and family and everybody just connect and have a good time. Yeah. All right, fans. Well, I wish you more success Thank with Cooler Fett and Cane Juice and pray that everything goes well this weekend. Definitely. We, 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 we hope the same. All right, we look thanks. forward to it. All right. Thank you. So that was Fons, the founder of Cane Juice and Cooler Fett, the biggest event that's going to be happening this weekend, Saturday, the 22nd of December.
I'm Virgil Hodge with SKN Newsline.